1-800-D-U-I-O-A. Now offering free remote consultations by phone or video conference for any criminal offense. Trust Brooke, Jeffrey, and Jose's friends with a free remote consultation. From Bradley Johnson Lawyers, visit one 800 duioacom or call 1-800-D-U-I-O-A. It's time for your phone tap. And imagine, for whatever reason, your Uber Eats driver calls you to say he's going to be late. Aww. Oh, that's well, happened. I mean, it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. But, but... Yeah, and you're trying to figure out why. Usually that conversation would be pretty normal. Like, I got lost or I got stuck in traffic. The restaurant took too long. But not when 89-year-old Alan Winterbottom (laughs) is your delivery driver. No way. He still has his driver's license? (laughs) Barely. And he's going to tell you all about why he's late. And if you don't listen to him, he's ready to pick a fight. Oh, no. It's your phone tap right now. It's another phone tap. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes, hello? Who is calling? Gosh, these AirPods are a hunk of junk. Um, <laughs> hi, is this Sarah McG? <laughs> yes? Who's hi, calling? Hi, you, you, you ordered delivery from, from a Uber Eats, right? <laughs> yes, are you at the door? Well, well, not quite. I'm your delivery driver. My name is Alan Winterbottom. <laughs> Pleasure okay. to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you. Are you close by, or mm. do you know when you're going to be here? Well, no. So you live in kind of a bad part of town. Did you know that? Oh. No. It's kind of sh- <laughs> hole over here. Are you sure you have the right address? Yeah. No, because I got I'm, it. This is a. I mean, it's a regular neighborhood. Okay. Well, the, you... that's not the problem. Okay. I was driving and my, my prostate started doing loop de loops. Oh. Like, oh God. Why is that information pertinent right now? Well, when nature calls, you got to answer. Oh. All right. And sir. I, I didn't have the dipe on. Oh. If you need to go, like, I. Uh, this well, is not. Well, just, uh, I, this hey, is a little too much information for me. Should your yapper there, Gen Z? What? I'm sure you'll tweet about this later. I'm I'm trying to have a conversation. Oh. Excuse don't, me. Don't you know you're supposed to respect your elders when they're talking to you? Please don't talk so, to me like that, okay? You now you sound like my second ex-wife, oh. Helen. She passed from the gout. Oh. Thank God. What? <laughs> that hussy's still nagging me from the grave. You're unbelievable, man. So I don't know what your deal is. I had to pull into one of one of them Arco stations. Uh, do a little TCBY. Oh. Taking care of busyness. I mean, you're That's doing stuff. That's not the same. Uh, okay, great. Anyway. So can you just tell me when you're going to be here? Listen, I, I've been in here ten minutes, and, oh. and I just realized now they ran out of teepee. Oh. Sir, please. I don't want to know any of this. It, it's like the movie... Castaway, have you seen that one? Oh. Can you please? Yeah, I'm stranded over here. I'm looking down at Wilson staring back at me. Oh. All right. He's well, like, oh, boy, you're screwed. Oh, my God. That is way too much information. Well, you asked. So. I did not oh. ask. The only thing I'm trying to get out of you is to tell me when you're going to be here. Well, I'm trying to tell you I can't until I get some teepee. So if you could come meet me at the Arco. You're telling me that you're expecting me to bring you toilet paper to a gas station? I don't... I am an old man. And if you would come over and make Alan Winterbottom's bottom better. Oh, gosh, that's, that's I, a tongue twister. I'm very uncomfortable with this. Yeah, say that five times fast. Alan Winterbottom's bottom's better. Please stop. Alan Winterbottom's bottom... I don't... I can't say it. This is disgusting. I'm... Hanging up, well, and listen, I need to get a different delivery okay, man. Okay, don't get your panties in a bundle. Just... Do not say that to me. No, I didn't want no hoodlums to swipe your food, so I, I brought your pad thai into the john with me. What? Yeah, I'm keeping it warm on my lap. Okay, uh, I'm done. Oh, yeah. This is just like when Nurse Julie readjusts my pelvic bone. I am disgusted right now. Your sister Charlotte didn't seem disgusted by it when I talked to her. What? She actually likes seniors and appreciates them, unlike some people. Who is this? <laughs> Who yeah, is this? I'm not, I'm not an old man. I'm a radio host. <laughs> my, oh, my God. <laughs> this is my real voice. My name's Jeff. What the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm from Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and your sister Charlotte wanted to set you up for a prank call. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. Hey, I'm going to swing by. If I can use your crapper for a second, that'd be nice. No, please. <laughs>
Oh my God! Let's just put put some loud music on. You won't be able to hear nothing. That voice, I I never want to hear that voice ever again. You can play play some of those modern jams. You know, oh, oh, dum gum dum style. Oh, oh, oh dum, yeah, no, dum. thank you. Oh, don't. Oh, just hurt my knee on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> Tabs weekday mornings on the 20s. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.